loves, I hope you're all well. So I thought I'd do a little vlog for this next video because it's been so long and I love doing these like slow vlogs, a little bit more chilled and just showing you guys what we're up to this weekend. So we've actually come to Ribblesdale Park which is like I'd say about 40 minutes from Manchester and it's like this huge estate, loads of lodges, cottages, there's a restaurant on site as well, it's such a beautiful place. So we've come for a cosy weekend in this gorgeous cottage that you can see behind me. So I've just been filming some content for them this morning. So they allow dogs too, so little Bruno's with us, but him and Lee have actually just nipped out because they've actually gone to the vet's because poor Bruno has got an infection, but he's fine. Lee's just got off the phone to me and they're coming back in about an hour. So I've got the whole place to myself, which is lovely. But yeah, I just thought I'd pop on and have a little chat with you guys because it's been so long. I've kind of like jumped back into um, styling videos when we came back from Christmas and New Year. So I just thought I'd give you a bit of a life update really. Those of you who have been a subscriber for a while will know that I had a miscarriage back in July and I've been signed up to the Sheffield Hospital ever since because it was a partial molar pregnancy and there's a risk of cancer forming. So I have been under their supervision, if you will, since July. And I had the all clear last week. So honestly, I can't even tell you like the weight that was lifted when she called me and she was like, you don't need to come in anymore for any more blood tests. And I was like, oh my God, it's done. I was like at my breaking point. I was like, please let this be the last one now. It's been six months and it was. So I'm all clear. So this is why we're here this weekend celebrating. And also it was actually our due date two days ago. So it's such a bittersweet time for us because we're so relieved that I've had the all clear and everything's fine. But also we were really dreading that day as well. So it was on Thursday. So weird because our due date was on the 24th of January, which is also my niece's birthday. I'm born on the 24th. My brother's born on the 24th and so is my grandma. So it's like a really special number in our family. So I was kind of dreading it, but now the days passed and I was absolutely, I was fine. I kept myself really busy. Um, just had like a pamper day, got my nails done, went for a massage. And yeah, we both took the day off. So. It wasn't as hard as I expected, which really surprised me. And I'm really proud of myself because it shows that I am building my strength back mentally as well. And looking, I'm just looking after myself more. Therapy's definitely been helping. Getting past that milestone was just such a big thing for me and Lee. So it's finally passed and we can relax this weekend and just enjoy the peace and quiet in the countryside. So sorry, I had to stop that, Lee was ringing me. Um, so yeah, that's where we're at. And I just wanna say to anyone out there who has lost a baby and your due date is approaching, just be really, really kind with yourself. Do what's best for you, whether that's staying in bed all day and having a cry, watching your favorite films. Keep yourself busy, you might not want to take the day off, you've just gotta do what's best for you. But I would highly recommend doing something for yourself, like a little self-care day or a pamper, because that really helped. And just remember how strong you are. You really are doing amazing. So sending all my love to anyone who's got a due date approaching in January or beyond. So yeah, we're here this weekend to have a lovely wholesome time. This place is so gorgeous. I'll, um, I'll show you around now actually. And I also have a lady coming around in 15 minutes and I'm getting a lovely back, neck and shoulder massage. So that is gonna absolutely chill me out. And then we're probably gonna go for a walk. I'll show you guys around the grounds because this place is huge. Did the 
rooster to wake you up? Who's up there? <laughs> Hi loves, so it's actually the following Monday. I literally forgot to pick up the camera last week and vlog. I was feeling so poorly. It was time of the month and it was just one of those write off weeks where things kind of didn't go to plan and there was nothing really to vlog. So I thought I'd pop on today and start the rest of the vlog on the following Monday because this week's a little bit more exciting and I thought I can include some of my outfits of the week in this vlog as well because I know you guys love seeing that and it's that awkward time of year where the weather is just all over the place so you can kind of see what I'm going to be styling for this transitional period. But yeah, I hope you liked the bits from the cottage. It was such a gorgeous little place and we had such a lovely time. I've just been filming all day, so sorry if I look a little bit disheveled. Um, but our new snuggle seats arrived. So this arrived on the weekend and I ordered it back in December, I think it was. Um, it's from Dusk. It just makes the room feel so much more cozy in the bay window because after having the Christmas tree there and it being so big when we took it away, it just felt really bare. So yeah, we've got this lovely snuggle seat, which Bruno has definitely claimed as his own because every time we come downstairs, he just jumps on it. He's currently upstairs with Lee, so that's why he's not here at the minute. But yeah, he loves it. It's a great place for me to work on a Friday because every Friday I like to just have the day as like a bit of an admin day, wind down, finish all my edits for the week. And this has been like my new little spot where I sit, listen to music, I'll just have the telly on in the background. And then we finally got our wedding and honeymoon pictures printed. I've been wanting to do this for ages. So last week I said to Lee, I was like, right, let's put an order in. And we ordered from Photo Box and you get 50 free prints a month, which I think is great. So we ordered those. And then I think we had like 20 left. So we just ordered like 20 pictures of Bruno. <laughs> So I feel like I need to make a Bruno album now and I've popped them all in frames just because I said to Lee I was like I love our house it's so cozy but we've just got no pictures up of like us and our travels and I feel like I needed to have some on the walls and it's not just on my phone I feel like I need to start printing all the pictures from our travels. Anyway I'm really rambling now I've had two coffees today as you can probably tell. So this is the new snuggle seat how cute is it it's a gorgeous fabric. Um, I think it's called the Hampshire, I think, from Dusk, so um, I'll link it below if you're interested. And um, I can't wait to style it up. I've actually just ordered some cushions to go there. I feel like that's, it's too big, so I just need like a long one and then a little one or something and then maybe a throw. So yeah, I'm excited to style it up. And this is the Iceland frame I was on about. I'm sorry you can see all the reflection in the background. It's just so nice to have some prints on the wall of memories. These are the wedding pics that I've put up. So I wanted to do like black and white pictures from like the champagne tower when I got changed and everything. So these ones are from the second dress outfit when we're having champagne. This one's the Champagne Tower. I just love these shots. I think this is one of my absolute favorites. I love it so much. And then Lee really wanted one of us on our own and then one together. So I think that's a really nice way of doing it. Lee looks so handsome there. I love that one of him. And then that's one of our favorites out on the lake. And there's me in my dress. So yeah, a gorgeous little trio of photos there. And then Bruno, I had to put him on the shelf. Look at him. I'm so glad we got him a little tux for the day. I think I might paint this frame. I'm not a huge fan of just the wood, to be honest. I might even varnish it to match the wood. So we'll see what we do with that. I've shown you guys this bookcase. Um, my friend's dad made it. He's very talented and we've had it for years now. So I've got all the books at the bottom and then use the top half for some knickknacks and some lamps and pop some flowers up there and then this is what i wore today nice and casual so i had to go to the vets with bruno to pick up his other meds he's absolutely fine he just needs a few extra days on antibiotics so we went to pick those up and it's so windy outside today so a beanie hat was needed it is quite mild though so i've just kept my gray long sleeve top on from uniqlo the hat is our kept the scarf is under the stories the lovely bag is Pelen. trench is under the stories 
got my Abercrombie jeans on with my trusty Arquette belt and my Sambas. So like I said, very easy, very cosy. And then I've just been chilling in my jeans and my grey top today whilst I've been editing. It's nice to start easing the trench back in and get into those transitional looks as well. I'm really, really excited for spring. Um, although it is still very wet and windy. I'll probably be wearing a lot of rainy day outfits this week, but we'll see. But yeah, that's Monday's look. I will see you guys tomorrow for Tuesdays. Hello loves, it's Tuesday today and I've just finished filming a five ways to wear series for Instagram. So a few of you lovely ladies over there were requesting some more five ways to style and I thought I'd kick it off with the white shirt. So I just thought I'd show you one of the outfits that I've been styling. It's quite mild today. I would still definitely take a jumper out with me though. So I'll show you that in a second. But I just thought I'd share some inspiration for this transitional period as we're going into spring. I've got my crisp cos white shirt underneath. This lovely blazer style jacket from Dish. I was reaching for this a lot in winter, but I'm really excited to style it for spring. So I do feel like it is more suited to spring, this kind of style. And then I've got my mango woven bag, my brown belt from And Other Stories, and my Monko jeans. And then to finish, I've got my Bobby's brown loafers. So it's a very smart, casual look, this one. So this is a very classic look from me. Oh, Bruno's appeared. Hi, little one. You get comfy. Okay. <laughs> All the noises. I always reach for my white shirt, jeans and loafer combo every year when we're going into the transitional period right into spring. And then I've just popped my cos brown knit over the top to tie in all the tones together. I really love this look and I love swapping out black for brown to give it a softer feel, especially when styling it with these lighter tones and my blue jeans. Hello loves, happy Wednesday. So today I've got a day of meetings. So I've gone business chic for this look. My first meeting is over Zoom, so I thought I'd dress up the top half especially. So I've gone with my Majiri hoops, this gorgeous waistcoat from Align. I'm obsessed with the fit. I just love it because my other waistcoats are v-necks and I really love this round neck. It just feels very chic and I know I'm going to get so much wear out of this in spring and I've actually got the matching trousers as well which oh it's just the most beautiful set. I can't wait to show you it. So I'll be styling that as we get into spring as well. And you can see on the back as well, it's got this little tab detail so you can tighten it and just cinch it in that a little bit more, which I really love. And then I'm wearing my brown wide leg trousers again. You guys have seen these so much on the channel. Blooming love them. And I just love pairing them with cream. And then I've got these gorgeous brown boots from m and I love a pointy boot and I love how small the heel is as well. And these ones, I can't believe it, they were in the sale. So they were originally £70, down to 20 And then I got to the till and they were £14. So such a bargain. And I know I'll get these out year after year. I love them. So this is the look for the home meeting, if you will. I'm going to take my shoes off, obviously, and pop my slippers on. But I just wanted to wear something really nice up top when you're on a Zoom call. Not Zoom, Google Meet. And then I've added in my beige blazer for another neutral tone. And this just really finishes off the look, especially with me going out. Oh, I'm going to take my Songmon bag as well because it fits so much in. My notebook even fits in there, so it's great. And that is the final look for Wednesday. Very business chic today. I feel like this is a very me outfit for when I want to go a little bit more formal, but still feel me. You could definitely wear this for work. If I worked in an office, I would definitely wear something like this. And if you didn't want to wear heels, you could always swap them to ballet flats loafers or trainers too for a more casual feel. Anyway, I'm gonna go and I'll see you all tomorrow for Thursday's look. Hello loves, happy Thursday. I'm really sorry, this one might be rushed because I'm running late, but this is tonight's look. So I'm off out for dinner for my friend's birthday. So I've gone smart casual this evening and very simple. So I've gone with my Theory Cashmere Knit, this gorgeous jacket from Mango, I absolutely love it this is a newer addition in my wardrobe i just haven't featured it on the channel just yet but i love the way it cinches in at the waist it's so flattering 
and it's a perfect one to style for the evenings so that's why I'm wearing it tonight. My Arquette belt and then I've got my Levi's jeans which I've just turned up and popped my ballet flats on as well with some tight socks because it is blooming cold out there tonight but I really wanted to wear ballet flats so that's why we've gone with a little sock. The bag is from Songmon. I wanted to add a bit of brown in as well because I love styling black brown and dark denim and then I've got my triangular earrings in and then I need to put my rings on I've just realized I don't even have my wedding ring on so I need to pop all of those on probably gonna go with all my usual Monica Veneta ones so yeah that is tonight's look I'm very sorry it's rushed but I'll link everything below anyway and I'll see you all tomorrow for Friday's look so Friday is gonna be very chilled tomorrow um, me and Alice have got a very cute day planned so it's going to be a very cosy comfy look with no makeup which I'm relieved about because I've worn makeup far too much this week. That is Thursday's look. I will see you tomorrow for Friday's. Good morning loves. It's Friday today and it's finally no makeup day. I'm so happy. So today I'm actually going to Alice's house. So we're having a little girly work day at hers. She literally lives around the corner from me so it's so handy. Um, so we're just going to plan a few things to shoot next week. I'm maybe having a look at a few trips for the summer, which is exciting. So yeah, a very chilled outfit today. We're actually having a treat at lunchtime as well. There's an app called Ruby and it's like a beauty concierge and they can come around to your house and you can get a massage, facial, pedicures, manicures. So we're going to go for a facial, which will be so lovely. I've not had one since before the wedding i don't think so um it's gonna be a really lovely treat and we'll feel lovely and glowy after so definitely comfies today for that so i've got this gorgeous knit from and other stories i have this jumper in the off-white version as well which you'll have seen at the start of the vlog and i just love the fit of it i love the shape and the wide rib detail on the hem cuffs and the neckline and then i've gone for ultimate comfort in my 90 percent joggers i wear these so much around the house and when i'm lounging about they're just super comfortable i've got some top brown socks on to match the knit and my new balance trainers these are the 2002 r ones so yeah that's today's very simple outfit for working from home i'm probably gonna pop my trench on over the top as well so I'll try that on now and show you actually. And then that's the full look with the trench. This is a great errand running outfit as well. I'd definitely wear this if I was just popping to the shop or something. It's just very chilled, very casual, and I love these tones together. Hello loves, I hope you're all well. Happy Saturday. So I've just got back from a walk with my friend. We just went around the park and had a coffee and a catch-up really it was really nice so she came round earlier because i was trying on my bridesmaid dress for her wedding and it's stunning i'm so excited i cannot wait now so that's been really nice to catch up with her so it's been a very chilled lovely day and this is the look that i wore today so i've got my cos stripe tee on my tommy hill figure camel coat I kept belt my slouchy trousers I love the fit of these I always reach for these when I want something like smart casual because you can dress them up and down and I love wearing them with my sambas for that true relaxed feel the sun was shining but it was still a little bit chilly out there today so hence why I went with the camel coat but with a little nod to spring with the striped tee so yeah I love this outfit so classic and easy and one of my go-to's so that's what I wore today for a very chilled Saturday good morning loves happy Sunday so today is another dry day and we're gonna go for a nice big walk so a very casual sporty look today so I've got this cap from Beaufort and Blake which says the good life on it I really love this like washed sage green color I feel like I'm gonna get a lot of wear out of this throughout spring then I've got my favorite fleece I took this to Iceland last year so you will have seen a lot of it on my channels it's just so cozy it's from Urban Outfitters. I don't know if they still sell it but I'll link some similar below. Then I've got my quilted jacket from Whistles. Really lovely and oversized. I tend to reach for this when I'm going on walks and I want something a little bit shorter. Then I've got my Adenola leggings and I've popped my new balance trainers on again. So that's Sunday's very casual look. I hope you've enjoyed this video. It's probably been all over the place actually with kind of a bit of vlog elements and then my outfits. But I hope you've enjoyed it anyway and I am actually filming tomorrow my bags collection. So 
I know you guys have been asking for this for so long and I haven't got around to it so I am filming it tomorrow so it'll be live next week so that'll be the next video so I'll see you all very soon Thank you.